Scott Boda with Steed Auto Sports with my own personal Fox Body Mustang. I've owned this thing since 1996, like a lot of Fox Body owners. It's got a big cubic inch, 438 cubic inch, nitrous base motor, cylinder heads and camshaft, solid roller from Bennett Racing, and it runs about 13 and a half to one compression. Now I said street car, and a lot of us know trying to run 93 octane on the street can be a bit challenging. In fact, they gotta dial the timing all the way back to 19 degrees just so it doesn't detonate. When I run into the track, I use VP110. If I'm spraying the car with my Nitrous Express two-stage plate system, I'm gonna use actually VP116 fuel. But the craze is E85, right? We proved it with the silver bullet. So many people are running their vehicles on corn and making a ton of power. So today, we're gonna do a simple shit test. Drove the car in yesterday. Dropped it off here this morning. We're gonna dyno it with how it sits with 93 octane, about 19 degrees total timing. We're gonna drain the fuel. We're gonna throw in the VP110 fuel, bump the timing up to about 32 degrees, make some dyno pulls, drain the fuel again, swap over the 42 pound injectors for 60 pound injectors, because that's what the math says, about a 147, 1 1.5 multiplier, and throw in some regular old plain Jane $3 a gallon, E85, compare this $14 VP110. And we're gonna give you the results, no smoke and mirrors, all done, same day. Let's check it out, let's see how things go. That was our first pull on the 93 octane. Now keep in mind, because the motor's over 13 half to one compression, we're only able to run about 19 degrees of timing to avoid detonation, even with those awesome Bennett Racing high port heads. So uh, we were kind of surprised, made 430 horsepower on the 93 octane. So we're draining the fuel now and gonna splash in some VP 110 and crank up the timing about 32 degrees and see what kind of power it makes on the 110. second pull. We drained out the pump 93, threw in the VP 110, took the timing from 19 degrees up to 32 and uh, rewarded with uh, 515 horsepower in the first lick. So it's a solid gain of 85 horsepower. Now we're just going to try and get our air fuel ratio. I typically like to run it a little lean, 13.0, 13.2. Um, so we'll dial that in and see if we can squeeze a little bit more out of it uh, before switching over to that uh, pumpy 85. shook the wire loose. In fact, it broke the terminal end off. Uh, we tried jerry-rig it, but now we just fixed it the right way. But you see we lost battery voltage. We were to get it from 515 to 522. And then this is probably when the wires started coming loose. 
that's when it fell off. Uh, we'll probably back it up again real quick, make one last pull, and then we'll drain the fuel, throw in the 60 pound injectors, and see what it does on E85. But I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, the most it's ever made on motor is 525. So 522, it's, it's right where it normally is, which for a nitrous motor, that's really old, but that's pretty good. you got to run 1.47 call it 1.5 percent more fuel well math from a 42 pound injector with that comes out to about 63 so we got some 60 pound injectors and we might have to raise the fuel pressure a couple pounds but uh, I think we'll be all right which is something I forgot to do <laughs> So we just swapped over to 60 pound injectors from the 42s for the E85, splashed in the E85, 10 gallons, regular old pump gas E85, no C85 for VP. And we were rewarded with 13 horsepower and 14 foot pounds of torque over the 110. So you're looking at a fuel that's $3, much better for the environment over the leaded $14 a gallon VP 110. So uh, we're gonna tweak it a little bit, uh, add a little bit more fuel and see where we end up. But otherwise, uh, I think it's safe to say that E85, even on a big cubic inch, loose torque converter, old school Fox body with a bunch of compression is uh, definitely the way to go, so. Alright. 
So here's the final numbers. On motor, right here, 403, 430 with 93 octane. Splash in to 110, it picks up to 521. E85 comes in, and this son of a gun just makes more power everywhere. 550 horse. Telling people all week we were hoping for about 120, 130. We were hoping for 550, and they made 550. Wow, that's cool. Well, that concludes our testing. I'm super excited. You know, 120 horsepower, that's a ton to gain. I can't thank Frank behind the camera, Mark as well, and our machine shop for giving me a hand today, uh, you know, switching three different fuels. But you know what? I got an extra 120 horsepower and a bunch more foot pounds of torque to play with on the street. And uh, you know, that's always a recipe for a good time. Once again, Steed Autosports, if you like what you saw, follow us on our TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, like, subscribe. And remember, at the end of the day, Steeda, where speed matters.